diverse uh, selection of wines today. I love the 1934, which is a very unusual wine. I've not tasted anything quite like that before. 2011 was showing amazing promise, so obviously a great vintage. Also the LBV uh, 1992, I thought that was uh, really, really um, a surprise actually. To taste an LBV from, from that vintage um, was uh, a real treat. The wines that I tasted today were extraordinary in their age and their depth and their variety of style. It's absolutely remarkable how well this wines age how fresh, how pure, and how beautiful they are. It's something which is actually quite difficult to explain in words. What I think that makes Brown Rush Pinto's wines so special is the continuity. The people who make the wines know the vineyards, they know the Douro Valley. The people who make the wines have a feeling for the wines and that crosses borders from all different styles from vintage port through tawny ports which I think uh, Ramos Pinto make some of the greatest tawny ports in the world. The, the family legacy, the heritage and their very special approach to viticulture uh, which really sets them apart from the majority of the other houses. sale in December for the port section, that's where we're going to offer like a range of rare vintage ports coming directly from the Gaia sellers of, of the producers. We will make like a, a range of ports you don't normally see in auctions, uh, let alone in, in shops, available for wine collectors to try if they can secure some rare bottles. It was a particularly interesting tasting, a pre tasting for the auction it will take place in December. I think it shows the continuity of, of Ramos Pinto from different winemakers and different uh, blenders. A good lot of wines to show exactly how we uh, are around the centuries, between uh, 19th century until, until now.